So in continuing discussion on favorite garden seeds, I like to discuss the onion. The onion is definitely not one of the most popular garden vegetables that people might raise from a seed. I understand this. Most people who will grow onions in their gardens usually will grow the onions either by buying bags of dry onion sets or by buying onion plants at the nursery or from some other plant growing source. Um, now, onion sets are very, very specific type of an onion and, and so there's not much flexibility as far as what variety you'll grow if you're going to do that. Your choices are pretty much going to be red, white, yellow. There is no such thing as a sweet onion set, for instance, and so on. They're totally cooking onions going that way. Um, when you're buying onion plants from sources in nurseries, oftentimes you can uh, get an onion that's going to be uh, more desirable. For instance, I, I used to sell Walla Walla plants while I ran nurseries in California. Stockton Red plants and so on. These are all pretty good onions. But I've never found that a commercial source will produce an onion plant that is exactly appropriate to the location where I'm at and to my culinary needs. And so long back, I've been raising onions from seed for many years. Uh, I have many videos on the web about this, and so anybody who's interested in learning about growing onions from seed, uh, just type in their uh, YouTube Green Garden Guy one slash onions, and you'll come up with a whole lot of onion videos. Um, but right here in front of me is, in my opinion, one of the best of all the perennial scallions we have. Uh, this is Koba, K-O-B-A. Uh, it's provided by the University of Hawaii. I believe it originates in Japan. Um, there are many perennial scallions uh, around. We have uh, uh, the Egyptian walking onions, you know, there are a number of different winter onion type scallions and so on. Most of them are really quite coarse. They're also fairly spicy. Um, I don't care for most of them, honestly. This one, though, will produce beautiful regulation market scallions that are nice and mild on a constant basis. It also reseeds itself, as you can see here from all these flowers on top. Um, these will actually drop seeds, spread the onion, and you end up with patches of this. They can get really large. In Hawaii, these never stop producing. 12 months out of the year, I constantly have scallions coming out of this. Here's a little bit younger group. Um, that actually self-sowed from the other bucket into this bucket. I have a little bit of romaine lettuce growing in and amongst it. Uh, the romaine seems to be tolerating the onions quite well. But you see here uh, how nice, beautiful, nice thin greens. This is a marvelous thing. They multiply from the base like this. And so you see here, if you follow the finger down, we've got a scallion right there. And if we go like that, there we go. We got ourselves one bead of Miss Green Onion. Another one of the very successful um, perennial onion relatives here is the uh, Chinese leek or the garlic chive uh, grows forever in Hawaii. This patch here is uh, 10 years old at least, probably more. Um, it never seems to quit. It always has chives and so on. I just don't happen to care for its flavor that much. It's kind of stinky, kind of garlicky. It's all right in the, white, in the proper cuisine. As far as uh, chive vegetables go, this guy right here is my personal favorite. Uh, this is Dolores. Um, it's an, an improved chive uh, from Johnny Selected Seeds. It is definitely better than all the older varieties had. You know, usually chives will die out in a couple of years here in Hawaii. This one is showing no signs of going south, and it doesn't seem to really have a dormant period here either. I have constant chives coming from it. Um, I'm a promoter of the chive as a, more of a garden vegetable and less as a seasoning. Uh, these things come on first thing in spring. If you planted them, they're perennial. They're going to pop up when you got nothing else good to eat out there in the garden. And the chive is so mild that you can eat large quantities of it and actually consider it a green vegetable in your diet. For most of you, if you're, you know, generally if you're living over in the mainland and you're Oh, I don't know, probably 40th parallel and north. 
there are onions that we call uh, um, the long day onions. And so Walla Walla is my favorite from Washington. That one. Now, there are many strains of it. Johnny Selected Seeds is a really good strain. I highly recommend it. Um, also, there is a long day cooking onion called Copra. It's really hard. Stores for months. Uh, very productive. I like that one too. Now, if you're in between you know, the far north and the tropics, say like you live in San Francisco, along that line, uh, then the onions that we use are called mostly day neutral onions. They're onions that are kind of unlocked to the photo period. Um, well, we used to have a great Stockton Red. Uh, it was an open pollinated there, but Breeding slip, most Stockton red seed has gone bad. If you still have good Stockton seed, keep it. But uh, California red burger is pretty much the replacement for that one. Uh, I think it's a good onion if you live right around the middle of California. Um, if you start going south, then we have to start look at onions that work during short days. And uh, my favorite of all is Gabriella. Gabriella is a great sweet onion for short days. And uh, there is also another one excellent called Pumba. Um, I like that one too. Those are both available at Shiny Selected Seeds if you're looking for them. Uh, those work really good here in Hawaii. I've done excellent with them. I think they're far superior to the Granex that we use to raise what they call the Maui onion. And so try them. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. It's too many seeds. Aloha. Y'all hang loose.